Welcome back to my dining room table build. My name's Guy, and uh, last time I had cut some slots in the corners for some splines. I'm going to show you how I attacked that and got those set. Uh, I also put in the leaf, which stores underneath the table when you put the halves together. This was a lot of fun to put together. Stick around, I'll show you how I did that. The first thing I need to do here is I need to find the center of this rail. And this is 33 and 3 quarters, so that is 16 and 7 eighths. So I'm going to mark 16 and 7 eighths of an inch. Now that I've got that center line marked, I uh, played around with this a little bit before. And I know where I'm actually going to put the uh, pivot pin for this. And that's going to be at 5 and a quarter inches off of that. So after I've got that marked, I need to carry that line around. Well, after I've got the center line marked and where the pivot pin is going to be, I know that the tabletop resting on top of these supports is going to be an eighth of an inch above that. Now, I also have to put some pieces underneath of the leaf where that pivot pin is going to go. And I'm decide, I've decided I'm going to put that one inch down from the top. So measuring one inch down from here is actually going to be seven eighths of an inch. So I just need to mark seven eighths of an inch down on both sides. And that's going to give me the measurement where I know I need to drill a hole to put the initial uh, bushing that I'm going to put in here for the steel rod that's going to hold the table. So I made a quick drilling jig and all this is is a, is a block of wood with a couple tabs on it to make sure it stays flat on there and with the center line. All I need to do is line it up with here. This hole is 7 eighths of an inch down on center. So all I need to do is clamp this in place. Make sure it's on center. And I would take a half inch drill bit, the same drill bit I used to do this one and make a hole going all the way through this piece. Well, after I have the holes drilled, this is a piece of the stock I'm going to be using as the pen. Uh, I'm going to put these steel bushings in here that are a half inch outside diameter and three eighths of an inch inside diameter. put through here, this is going to give me a very nice smooth action. Um, there's a little bit of play, but that's good. I want a little bit of play. The actual alignment of the leaf to the top is going to be done with the special brass alignment pins that are designed for a leaf. So I need to do this on the other side and then we can move on to making the pieces that are go underneath the leaf itself. So what I've got here is I've got two pieces of stock. Now these are going to be the pieces that hold that center rod uh, that these are going to attach to the actual leaf itself. So first thing I need to do, I need to mark an inch and a half in, inch and a half in to get my center line. And then remember I went seven eighths of an inch down, but I need to be an inch from the top because I've got an eighth of an inch between the middle uh, support for the table and the actual sliding supports for the top. So, just make a mark here. Make a mark here. And I just need to go over the drill press and cut those half inch holes for those bushings on here. So the next thing I need to do is I need to drill some holes in here. And these are, well, these are pocket screws, but they're nice because they got a nice flat uh, pan head on them. And I need to bore a countersink to put those down here and then a hole the rest of the way through. And uh, again, I'm going to use my stop on my drill press for this in the fence. And that way I can just put it in there, flip it around, change the drill bit, and finish the hole. So it should be pretty, pretty straightforward. So I've got the leaf turned upside down on my work surface here, and I know the tabletop is 42 inches wide, and I need to mark where the center of that is first, and I know that's 21 inches, so I'm just going to make a mark, 
at 21 inches. And then I know that I need to put these on center five and a half inches from that mark. So I'll just go there and mark it actually five and a quarter, which is right here. And then carry that line up like that. And then I put these blocks on here. I can put them in and flush them to the side. Actually, I might bring them up a little bit, but I know when I screw them down to it, that's going to be the, the, the perfect place where that rod is going to go through. I've got both the uh, pivot brackets mounted in here and I'm going to put this rod through here and it should go through pretty easy without binding it all and spin. So that's exactly what I'm looking for. Now I just need to cut this rod a little bit so I can get it into the table itself. It's a little bit too long. And uh, then mount this in there and then work on a couple of the support pieces for it. But uh, this is coming together real nice. I'm pretty confident this is going to work out. So what this piece here is, I've got it temporarily just held in with a little bit of clamping pressure. This is going to act as a fulcrum and when this goes on the pivot point and flips around it's going to slide up on here and then go over the top. So the first thing I need to do is start feeding this steel tube through and I'm going to put two of these split stop collars on here. Now once everything is all put together I'll tighten these down. This will prevent the top from moving around or the leaf from moving around. So I just need to go put this in here. Feed this through the bushing on this pivot point on the board. Feed that through. And then I can put two stop collars here on the other side. and then push it through the bushing on the other side. And that's the way it's going to work. So, I take that and push these support pieces underneath. You just need to make sure it's flat. And, of course it is. I wouldn't expect anything less at this point. So that's it for the leaf. Uh, it came together pretty darn easy. I've got the leaf up and I've also taken the two halves of the table, butt it up against there, make sure it's nice and flush, and then clamp it all, clamp it all down. Then I ran a couple screws, just two on each side, up underneath into the support rails to uh, fix those in a position somewhat for now. Uh, next thing I need to do is take it all apart, remove the leaf, and then I'm going to slide these two halves together and then I'm going to start working on drilling the alignment pins that, that when the, the, the table is not expanded so that closes up. Well I've taken the leaf out, actually the leaf is stored underneath where it should be. Um, and I've got the two halves pushed together and luckily it came together nice and flush. Everything again was based off that center so I felt pretty confident. So. Now I need to start marking out where I'm going to put those alignment pins. And the first one is going to be an inch and a half in from either side. Just going to make a mark here across both. And then I'm going to be putting an additional, other than the ones on the end, I'm putting an additional four in between there. So that's seven and a half inches or seven and three quarter inches. So this is the easiest way to do it. I've just got a little stick here. And I'm just going to go in from each side, make a couple marks. And then go in from the other side and do the same thing. And that'll give me six pins across. For those of you who aren't familiar with alignment pins, this is what it is. There's a male side and a female side. And all they do is when you put the two pieces together, one captures the other and it holds it flat. 
So this has to be perfect. I've done this before a couple times and to get this right is, there's not a lot of magic to it, but you have to be very accurate. So I'm using a dowling jig for this. I've got my hallmark. And there's also a line here inside the jig. There's a line here. Now these are supposedly self-centering. I've never trusted it 100%, so I'm always going to keep the turn screw side up. So all I need to do is put this on here and align the marks. Now that I've got that done, I've got a flag stop on my drill, and I just need to uh, drill that hole. And that's pretty much it. And uh, these pins will just fit, it, fit in here. I'm not going to put one in now. They're very hard to get out once they're in. And then I'll put the male side on the other side. I just need to go all the way up to, on, on this table to get this done. Well, I put the halves back on the table after I installed the alignment pins, uh, screwed them down temporarily, and slid the two halves together, and they actually came together very easy. So that was nice. Um, the next thing I wanted to do was make sure that all these planes were level, because I got three pieces, little inconsistencies and things can throw things off. So I pushed these two together, and this right here, I don't know if you can see where it's a little shiny where I hit it with the hand plane was just a little bit high, maybe less than a 64th of an inch. I just took a couple light passes here and shaved that off and it came out really nice and flat. Uh, there was a little bit here on this corner that I had to lower to meet that. I wanted to make sure that this was flat to this side first all the way across before I leveled the leaf. So I've got the leaf flipped over, I've got the sides attached again. After I leveled this to this, I needed to make sure that this was level and this was level. And after I flipped it over the first time, I discovered I was really lucky um, because all of these lined up really nice and flat. There was three spots on here, 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 and here. Again, where it was off just a tiny little bit. Um, but I just hit those with the hand plane and uh, now these are all nice and level. Well that's it for now. Uh, I'm going to do some things off camera which is mainly sand, then I have to sand, and then sand some more. So a lot of surface prep to do on this and to get ready for the finish. And that's what I'll be doing next time. Um, as always, thanks for watching. If you haven't yet, please subscribe and we'll see you later.